Okay, be honest with me, will this be your ex? You dreamt about your ex? Yeah. Your ex-boyfriend, yeah? yeah? Okay, cool, can we have a look? Yeah. Oh yeah, and there it is. Oh my ex. god, that's so creepy. Okay. With Cassandra's dream, you tell your spectator that you can tell them something that they have dreamt about in the past, and you can also tell them something that they are going to dream about in the near future. You can do this just by touching the side of their face, or just tapping their shoulder. I heard a story once about a woman who could borrow somebody's pillow, take it home and sleep on it for one night, and then bring it back to you the next day and tell you everything you dreamt about. Really, really weird. I tried to teach myself a similar way of doing this, obviously without a pillow, but I can do this just by tapping you on the shoulder. Just by tapping you on the shoulder, I'm gonna try and tell you something you've dreamt about and something you're gonna dream about in the near future. This fits in your wallet, it just takes some pieces of paper or some billets. You can do this anywhere, this works in a bar, restaurant, park. You could even do this on stage for as many people as you want because this is all about the presentation and the performance. With this effect, there are no gimmicks involved. You can do this without any sleight of hand. All it takes is some pieces of paper and a pen and you're ready to go. Also in this routine, I teach you a very, very nice, very simple way of being able to predict which side your spectator sleeps on. Toss and turn quite a bit, but when you get settled, you, you sleep on this side? You do, yeah? Okay, okay. Now I know you toss and turn quite a bit, but I get a feeling you sleep more on this side. I'm right, yeah? Okay, so, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tap you on this shoulder. That's all I need to do to get the information. You ready? What makes this routine so good is that it involves something that is really, really personal to your spectators. This is something they may not have even told to anybody and it lives right inside their head. And for you to be able to tap into that and get this information, it can be a really, really moving thing. See, as soon as I did this, I got a sense that you were dreaming that you, you're in a place that you're very familiar with. This is about a place and I get a feeling something's doing this. Oh, it's music, there's music, yeah? There's one, two people, uh, one person in particular in this dream. Maybe it's, you've lost your phone. Oh no, you haven't, it's worse than that. You, for, you forgot your clothes in this place, yeah? Okay, be honest with me, will this be your ex? You dreamt about your ex? Yeah. Your ex-boyfriend, yeah? yeah? Okay, cool, can we have a look? Yeah. Oh yeah, and there it is. Oh, this is a V, V fest, yeah? Can I have a look? Very quick, very, very easy to do, and this is one-on-one -on -one direct mind reading. And I did tell you, um, I was gonna tell you something that you're gonna dream about. So what I want you to do, I mean, you can read this now if you want, or you can keep this folded up, don't look at it, wait until you get home and you're all settled and you're in bed, and just before you go to sleep, have a read. I've told you something you're gonna dream about. It may not be tonight, it might be tomorrow, but have a look tonight. It's something you're gonna dream about, and also what's gonna happen after you've had this dream. So it's going to tell you what to look out for and what's going to happen afterwards. And there you go. Thank you very much. That's really amazing. That's crazy. That's great. I am Louis Laval and this is Cassandra's Dream.